after 15 minutes of cooking, look at this beautiful gravy. All my tomatoes and everything else is dissolved. It's like a nice thick gravy. And now, look at it. It's beautiful. This is the traditional way of making proper curries. These are not meant for restaurants and all that because in the restaurant settings, you boil the meat and all that. It's just to make money out of people. But if you really fancy a good traditional curry from a good chef, this is the traditional way of doing it. Now I'm going to add my meat into my sauce. Slowly, slowly. There we go. There goes my meat. Now the very important bit this is guys, you must cook this for good 15 to 20 minutes. So you get a nice juice out of the bones and everything else and the flavors goes into the meat. This is the most important bit, which nobody teaches you. You know, they all tell you, oh, put everything in and everything else. No, now this bit, when all the spices and tomatoes, onions, garlics, and everything's gone in, this is the most important bit, to cook this meat for good on a high heat, but keeping an eye on it and stirring it every few minutes. Doing this, for good 15 minutes. This is the most important bit. If you want a good curry, let the flavors set into the meat. Let the flavors be absorbed by the meat. Let the gravy of all the marrow bone and everything else. And this is the most important bit. Now I'm gonna cook it for 15 minutes and then I'll show you what the next option is.